to spawning in the top left. 14 Kessels. Team's already lost the week. Playing for Pride. Playing for Map Score. It's the purple Protoss player. It's Imperator. And his opponent spawning in the bottom right. Apparently, Team Castle is waiting all the time. In green for Team Extraterrestrials, it's fumed. Now, I want to say I saw Imperator in kind of a strange situation where he played in a qualifier of some sort. And he played against Nathanius. And he was gold. And it was kind of kind of bad. I don't know how that happened exactly, or how he managed to make that happen, but I think that was a thing. I think someone, I, I think he played Nathanius. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him sometime. But he was playing Terran at that point. Imperator did actually, he just uh, changed races for CTL. He had, he had played as Terran for the previous, uh, I believe, two matches that he played. He played as Terran, so uh, it's interesting to see players who do that. But so we'll see what he can do against his former race. Uh, opening up relatively standard. Nice 13 gate. Uh, Fume going for a gas and racks on 12. Uh, probably be a Reaper expand or some sort of quick stim, quick factory, widow mine drop build, something of that sort. Something techy. Or just a Reaper expand scout build. We shall see. I'm actually going to go ahead and plus two through the opening of this. Uh, since we are in the later games of the series, and the beginning of games are pretty, um, not exciting. I say this as I'm looking at Facebook. I care, I really care, I promise. Every game gets casted. And it's going to be a Reaper expansion by Fumed. Um, and with only a Zealot out, or coming out, for Imperator, uh, this Reaper could be, at the, at, the, at the least, extremely annoying. Uh, <laughs> so, and a Reactor immediately coming down. And Fume pulled off gas. It's a very nice uh, little trick play, tricky kind of play by Fumed. Uh, using the gas early only to get this Reaper out. And the Reaper is going to come in here, and it's going to start scouting. And it's going to see, hey, there's a Zealot, hey, there's a Subicore and a Gateway. Nothing, everything's pretty normal. I see everything I want to see. Three pylons. Did he see three pylons? He saw three pylons. He, he got a worker kill. He managed to get a worker kill. He got two workers killed. Uh, I think he's going to get out of here. Nope, doesn't get out, but two workers killed, uh, and the scouting information, that's uh, pretty okay. Uh, second command center just about finished here for Fumed, as well as a uh, bunker out front. So, the onus to do something aggressive is going to be on the Parator, and he's not going to. He's just going to expand. Has he seen anything? He has not even scouted. Scouting is overrated. I guess seeing the one Reaper, and one Reaper only, you could pretty much assume what your opponent is doing. Uh, it is going to be a, a one race expand, and then reactor fat or <laughs> reactor barracks, making some marines. Nothing too ridiculous. And that's all it is. The second guy has come down for fumed, uh, so he's going to be able to get up and get his stim uh, pretty soon. Um, meanwhile, his opponent is still sitting on this this one gateway. Well, this is a this is a fairly quick expansion from Imperator, with still sitting on just a single gateway. Um, he does have the Mosher Core up, um, but a handful of Marines, and even I guess this Marauder is going to be coming out, uh, pushing across the map could be an extreme annoyance for Imperator and do a good amount of damage, um, especially if the Mosher Core happened to be out of position at the time. At the very least, it could fo it would force out the um, the Nexus Overcharge and take off 100 energy from this Mosher Core, which is always a nice thing to do. SCV Scout moving across the map, just going to take this. Nope, gonna keep going forward. He's gonna go make sure that his opponent did expand before he scans. Did he scan already? Whoops. Well, he has not scanned yet, so he doesn't actually know anything. Robo and two gateways coming. Oh, well, that's a Twilight Council. That's not two gateways. Robo, one more gateway and a Twilight Council coming down. And the SAV did get in. Actually, it didn't see. It didn't see this. It didn't actually see the Nexus. So he doesn't technically know. Uh, so this is another one of those situations where you can just kind of assume that that's there. Well, Stim is on the way. Um, two barracks with reactors, one barracks with a tech lap, pumping away some units, factory on the way, engineering bay on the way, starport should be relatively shoon after this factory is finished, gonna, because of the place would have this engineering base with the lift factory to make the reactor, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, Fume will need some more gas soon, 
He needs some more workers. He's only on 32 at the moment. Kind of an issue. And a Dark Shrine is actually going to be the choice from Imperator. Um, it's not that he's he's playing behind at the moment. He's actually ahead on workers. Um, Fumed is uh, pretty... What's the word? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like infamous. There's the word. He's pretty infamous for just not making workers. And indeed, that's exactly what's happening right now. Rather than making two workers at once, he's making one worker at once. Yeah, which is not something you want to do in this stage of the game. He's just not going to have the money he needs to get out all the units he wants to get out. Plus one on the way. Two medevacs will be on the way. Um, so nothing too crazy going on. A, what is this? War prison. That's what they're called. War prison moving across the map. <laughs> Gotta be for the DTs. <laughs> for the DTs. Um, the engineering bay is finished, so he's going to be able to put down um, turrets as soon as he catches wind of the fact that this <laughs> DT shrine is here. Uh, Imperator would stand to stand to you know benefit from moving this warp prison back over. Yes, he's going to do that. He's going to do that. Warp in some units and then load them up and then move into the main base so he can warp in some more units and drop immediately, <laughs> using it as a dropship as well as a uh, warp prison, kind of getting the best of everything. Marine moving across the map looks like it's going to be scouting out. And there's really is there really only is this all that's really back home? That's all that's back home right now. There are. There's one Stalker, two Zealots, and another Stalker. But three DTs about to roll into the main base of Fumed here, and they're going to get a lot of damage in. Uh, no scans available. No scans available. Actually, there's one scan available. And he just needs to bring his army over there, and uh, uh, immediately a turret goes down. Third base is on the way at the same time. A good amount of units are across the map, however. Um, so Fume is forced to fight with his SCVs to take out these uh, DTs in time, and the scan runs out. Scan runs out. He has another scan, though. He does have another scan. He needs to use it. There he is. There's the unit. But there's still three more DTs. Three more DTs and not many units back home right now. Um, Fume's going to need to... Actually, he, he, yes. He's going to go ahead and attack. Uh, if he can snipe off this... Snipe off the motion core immediately. He does that. So he has free reign on this base now, and another drop over here. Uh, DTs are going to town in the main base with no detection yet. The only detection right now is this turret in the natural. 45 energy on this CC, um, but Imperator's natural nexus has died. Um, the plus one is finished for a few. There's nothing at home for Imperator, nothing at all. A lot of gateways, but all these DTs are trying to do the work for the entire team here. Um, there's a good amount, there's a, there's a few units back home. He does have at least one scan. He's got one scan, uses it, kills off two of the DTs, but there's three more. And the Stalker. Um, but Fume is in the main base, doing a lot of damage right now. Taking out the Robo Facility and the, <laughs> the uh, Cyber Core. Uh, but this is turning into a very strange sort of base race. Um, and all the production of Fumed is kind of being attacked right now. There's only these few uh, Marines left at the moment, but with just Zealots and a single Stalker, actually a turret, and, and wisely Fumed takes out the DT first. Uh, manages to get the other two Zealots, and Nexus has died. Uh, all Nexus are down, Imperator's bases are, uh, Imperator's buildings are being revealed. Fumed has taken this game against the DT rush. Um, oh wait, no. There's a Nexus. There's a Nexus. Oh lord, maybe he hasn't taken the game just yet. <laughs> it is 21 workers to 14, so this game is pretty close, but the army supplies are not close. And everything of the Imperators is getting killed off here. All the gateways are about to get, will get killed off once Fume decides to actually attack them. However, <laughs> Imperator still warping in units. And still warping in units. Killing everything he can, and Fume really needs to just lift this CC instead of letting it die. Instead of letting it die, fumed, fumed, fumed. You just let a CC die to zealots. You're gonna have to repair that. You're not gonna repair that. Go repair it. Fumed. Why? Why'd you go home? Fumed. Fumed. There's still two gateways. Oh lord. CC burns down. So this game is still almost even. There's still two CCs for fumed. 66 supply to 19 supply. There is a base for Imperator being built. Uh, he's only got two gateways. Uh, he does have the DT Shrine still, though. 
So once he gets some gas, he can still warp in some DTs. Uh, but there's no possibility for Imperator to actually make Gudas for a while. Um, Fume did see this pylon over here when uh, Imperator was being revealed, so he may... He at least has a hint that there's something over here, and he's already moving that direction. And once he finds the Nexus and takes that out, he will <laughs> finally take this ridiculous looking game. Um, again, kind of supply blocked here. Uh, something about this map requires ridiculous kind of base trading games. Uh, John did the same thing in the game one with Old Crow, and kind of turned into the same sort of thing here. And down to one single worker, fourth Imperator, and that worker is moving across the map, and he's just going to call GT there. So there, Fume takes a sixth map, four team extraterrestrials in a kind of strange game. But a win is a win. A win is a win is a win, as annoying people say. So XT goes up 6-2. We're getting into the A set. This will be a best of three between two diamond players.